Hey everyone, I'm Alex, the founder of RenderLion, and I'll show you how to animate your logo in this short video tutorial. To begin, please register or sign in to your RenderLion account. Once logged in, click the Generate button from the header menu and select Animated Logo. After loading your profile, you can animate your logo from static images, text, and brand data. Please remember that all videos generated using RenderLion are automatically created in square, portrait, and landscape formats, all at once. In this tutorial, I've set up my default preview in square format, but you can easily switch to other formats, as seen in my example. To start generating your animated logo, you must set up your profile. Once your profile is set, you can use it or reuse it for all your future videos generated with RenderLion. Let me show you how to set up your profile, but you can skip this step if you've already created one. The first step in creating a RenderLion profile is to upload an avatar, logo, icon, or any other image you want. I uploaded an avatar just to show you how it will look. Also, you can remove your avatar background for better results by clicking the Remove Image Background button. This process may take one to two minutes to complete. I did that to demonstrate that you can create a RenderLion profile without a company logo and to explain how the background removal works. I will replace the avatar with one of my favorite logo and continue to the next steps. Once my logo was uploaded, I adjusted the scale value to 80% so that it would fit perfectly inside the preview circle area. Remember that any change you make is automatically reflected in the right side video preview, as I show you now. You can also add background color to your logo. To do that I click the color button near my logo. Once the color picker pop-up is open I choose a color, or you can write the hex code into the color input and click update. As you see, my animated logo has a pink background color, but for my example I chose to have a transparent background for my logo, so I click the transparent background button to have the default setting. The second step in setting up a RenderLion profile is to choose the colors you want for your generated videos. You can use custom colors for the background, text, or other elements, but as you can see, I prefer to set predefined colors by opening the RenderLion color palette. Once the render line color palette pop-up opens, you have tens of color combinations. I selected a vibrant green background with contrasting text and light orange elements and clicked update. As you can see, the new colors are instantly updated in the animation preview on the right. Once I choose the colors for my profile, I will select the fonts I want for my generated videos. To set the fonts for your headlines, I click the headline font button to open the fonts pop-up Navigate through RenderLion's available fonts, select one, and click update. I will also do the same for regular text fonts, keeping the same font as the headlines in my example, as you can see in my video tutorial. Remember that you can use different fonts for your headlines and regular text for your animated logos or videos generated using RenderLion. The last step in setting up your RenderLion profile is to add or remove brand data as you wish. As you can see when I click on the name, slogan, or website buttons, you can add or remove them from your profile. For my example, I will choose to have all three inputs for brand data, such as brand name, slogan, and website. Once I check the three inputs is active, I will update the content. I will update the brand name with Alex Lyon, and the slogan with the Render Lion Value Proposition AI Video Generator. In the website text area, I will write my website, www.renderlion.com. Please remember that you can set up a RenderLion profile only once. Once your video is saved, the RenderLion generator also saves your profile and loads it as the default profile for your future videos. So, if setting a profile is difficult, remember that this can be done only for your first video. Wow, as seen in my tutorial, my brand data are updated in the animation preview on the right. Now, let's show you the true power of the Render Lion Generator. Click the right arrow below the animated logo preview to generate a new one. As you can see in my example, with each click, a new animated logo is created based on your profile data. Each new animated logo is generated in less than a second. 
You can also move the timeline bar to see the animation at different times. Let's click once again and see what animation will come next. Let's generate another one. Do it like I do until you find an animated logo you like. Remember, you can always change the data in your profile. The animation will update in seconds. In my case, I will update my profile fonts because the animated logo I like, which also shows my brand name, slogan, and website, will look better with different fonts. The fonts are updated in the video preview, and my animated brand looks awesome. Let's check another one. I click the next arrow button and see what animation Render Lion AI will generate. This one looks fantastic too, and I want to keep this tutorial as short as possible. So let's move forward by clicking the next button from the bottom right. In this step you must select a background for your animated logo. As you can see in my tutorial, a randomly generated animated background has already been added by default. You can choose between a static or animated background for your video logo. For my example, I chose to have an animated background, but before selecting one, let's add a background image too. To do that, you can upload your own photos, but I chose to add one from the Render Lion Gallery, so I clicked the Add from Gallery button. Once the gallery was opened, I searched for an image related to videos. I navigate through the resulting photos to see if I get one I like. I click this camera picture to select it, click the Update button, and as you see, my animated background has been updated in seconds. Also, I will adjust the transparency of my animated logo background image by changing the opacity values. The changes are instantly updated on the animated logo preview. I updated the image opacity to 40% to give value to my profile color palette, which was set on the previous step. Once I updated my background preferences, let the fun part begin. I click the right arrow below the animated logo preview and let RenderLion AI generate a new video background. With each click I make, RenderLion AI generates a new animated motion effect background for my animated logo. Look, this is a glitch background effect behind my animated logo. I repeat this step until I find the perfect background motion effect for my animated logo presented in this tutorial. The background is created based on your data set in the first step, which is why your render lion profile is so important. Remember, you can always return to the preview step and adjust your profile if you don't like the current results. Render lion will keep the data that has already been generated. You have thousands of effects to choose from, all created almost instantly from your data inputs until now. Repeat this process until you find an animated background that you like. I can move the video timeline bar for a fast preview of my animated logo. I will stop now and choose this animated background with my brand name behind it in a horizontal video motion. Once I've done this, it's time to proceed to the last step, so I click the next button. Here you can make the last adjustments for your animated brand like setting up the video speed, timing, scale and filters. You can even add an animated overlay order, and sound. As you can see, I doubled the speed of my animated logo, but I prefer to decrease the video speed a little. Also, I chose another timing value for my animated logo. By doing that, RenderLine will change almost all the video motion acceleration and be better seen after the animated logo is rendered. All the changes I make are instantly reflected in the video preview on the right. Now I will open the scale section and decrease the horizontal and vertical scale values for my animated logo to 60%. As you can see in the video preview, my animated logo, including my brand data, has become smaller. You can see all the changes much faster by moving the timeline of the video preview as I just did. By opening the Filters menu, you can easily change your animated logo brightness, contrast, hue, saturation, and more. In my example, I show you what increasing the contrast to 200% will look like. 
I choose to decrease it to 150% and show you how an 80% hue value will affect your animated logo video. You can play as much as you want, but in my example, I set the hue value to 0%, the default value, and I will continue showing you other video settings you can make. Below the Filters option you will find the Watermark section. Once I click on the Watermark button and open it, RenderLion will add my watermark to the bottom right corner of my animated logo, as seen in the video preview. Once I click the Next Arrow button, under the preview a new watermark video motion effect is generated by RenderLion instantly. You can also see in my tutorial now that you have thousands of watermark effects to choose from at a click distance. Please remember that you can also change the watermark's horizontal and vertical position, increase or decrease its size, or even go back to the initial watermark effect by clicking on the left arrow button below the video preview, as I show you now. For example, if I want to put my watermark in the top left corner of my video, I will set the watermark's horizontal and vertical positions to 0%. RenderLion will immediately reflect the new changes in the video preview area, I hope I'm not boring you, but I want to show you how to use a watermark when you generate videos using RenderLion. Because this tutorial is about creating an animated logo using RenderLion, a watermark is unnecessary, so I click the No Watermark button to remove it. Using RenderLion, you can also add an overlay effect over your animated logo. However, in this tutorial I will skip this and instead show you how to add an animated border. I click the Border button from the left menu section to open the animated border settings. In the border settings I change the default border size from 20 to 40 pixels. I also choose a border radius of 12%. Once I set my border preferences, it's time to let RenderLion AI generate animated border effects for my animated logo. As you already know from this tutorial, to do this you must click the right arrow button below the video preview as I do now, and a new border animation is created. With each click on the right arrow button I make, a new animated border is generated and added to my video. Please remember that you can always return to the preview border effect by clicking the left arrow button under the video preview. You can even add a border effect you like to favorites so you will not need to generate a new one next time you create a video using RenderLion. I chose this yellow border effect for my animated logo, and I will continue to add sound to my video. Once the sound section is open, you can upload your own music in MP3 format, or choose a song from the RenderLion Music Gallery. For example, I want to add a sound from the RenderLion Music Gallery. So I click on the Dance and Electronic category and select a song. The selected melody sounds good, and I will preserve it to keep this tutorial as short as possible. The last step before saving is to quickly check whether I like the animated logo generated in different formats. To do this, I switched the video preview to portrait format and made a quick check. Also, I clicked the landscape button to see how the animated logo would look in landscape size. My animated logo looks fantastic, so I clicked the finish button and saved my video. The saving process takes under 5 seconds. Now once my animation is saved, it's time to render it in high resolution and quality and apply the sound. To do that, I click the Render to Download button. Also, I switched to Portrait Preview and rendered it. I repeated this process for Landscape Size too because I want my animated logo in three sizes, Square, Portrait and Landscape, to be used in my scenarios. From website to TikTok, from my Instagram feed to YouTube, from ad campaigns to video production. Please remember that the render process may take a few minutes. You can also render your animated logo with a free RenderLion account too, which is fantastic. Once your video is rendered, you can download it in high-quality MP4 format. RenderLion also provides thumbnail images for each video size, which can be downloaded as PNG. Alright everyone, we've gone through all the steps to create a stunning animated logo using RenderLion. From setting up your profile with your branding elements to generating the aesthetics of your animated logo, you now have a video ready to make an impact. 
Thank you so much for joining me in this tutorial. I'm Alex, the founder of this video generator tool, and I hope you found it helpful and inspiring as you explore RenderLion's capabilities to enhance your digital projects. I encourage you to experiment with different effects, settings, and customizations. RenderLion is designed to provide the tools to unleash your creativity and bring your visions to life dynamically and effectively. Remember, the techniques we covered today can be applied to various visual content, making your creations stand out. For more tutorials and tips, visit our website or subscribe here. I'm Alex, thanks again for watching and choosing RenderLion. Keep animating and I'll see you in the next tutorial.